I support the efforts here to, today to ensure that hunting, archery, and similar programs are protected at schools across the country. Virginians are passionate about these outdoor sports, and school programs are a great way to cultivate that passion while teaching young outdoorsmen about safety. The necessity of the bill today, though, is just one more example of how much the Democrat Party and the Biden Department of Education hate your Second Amendment rights, which, by the way, of course, the Second Amendment is not primarily about hunting or recreation, but it's about self-defense and protecting us from government tyranny. Currently, the Department of Education interprets the law to restrict funding for hunting and archery programs and clearly wants to use any and every means possible to impose their gun control agenda on law-abiding citizens. The legislation today seeks to provide an exemption and allow federal dollars to be used for hunting and archery programs. The genesis of this problem comes from a law passed last Congress, the Bipartisan So-Called Safer Communities Act, which I vigorously opposed. And we should do more to repeal the harmful impacts this le legislation has had on our schools. In fact, I co-sponsored legislation offered by Representative Ogles from Tennessee that repeals the section of the law that's being misinterpreted today. The, fact, the effect of this TEACH Act would not only protect hunting and archery programs, but also eliminate one of the restrictions on a school's ability to train teachers to safely use firearms. If we permit teachers to be armed and trained, it would go a long way toward protecting our children and students and teachers and staff in our schools. Instead of blocking federal funding, we should support any investment in defensive training programs, which is also what Representative Ogle's bill would do. I sincerely believe all of our schools would be safer if we fund and resource law enforcement officers and teachers, in addition to enforcing strong legal penalties for criminals. Federal investment can play a key role but a large part of our work should focus on getting federal laws the heck out of the way so that states and communities can protect their own. This would also mean enacting legislation like the Safe Students Act offered by Representative Massey from Kentucky. His bill would repeal the one-size-fits-all federal ban on guns in school zones that prohibit a school district from setting their own firearm policy. I support the legislation today because it's a step in the right direction, but we should go further and allow teachers to exercise Second Amendment rights in defense of their students and themselves in schools as well. The Second Amendment doesn't or shouldn't end at the schoolhouse door for responsible law-abiding teachers and personnel who are trained and looking to protect themselves and their students. So I support the legislation and I urge my colleagues to vote in support as well. And I yield back. 